Hey everyone, how are you today? Well, I just wanted to pop in today and just talk about how we look after ourselves as adults when we become anxious. Uh, I've been challenged, you know, from the, the new book, Teaching Kids to Manage Anxiety, you know, how we can use those same strategies to be able to look after ourselves. Because, you know, life does throw us poop sometimes. And, um, yeah. So I, I, I found myself this morning, yeah, just with some of those signs of, you know, having that sinking pit in your stomach. Um, and in the book I talk about, you know, the snake that kinds of, you know, comes up and can, seems to wrap itself around your heart and you just, you have that, you know, mild, you know, stress, um, anxiety response. So this is because of a situational thing which um, has come up for me and um, part is, you know, um, health, health of a family member and part is um, a professional um, opportunity that fell through which was quite disappointing. Uh, and so <laughs> I was really thrown today. I, I misread my calendar and thought that my next week's client um, here, <laughs> who's not here because it's next week, um, it should have been a home visit. So I, I rocked up here to be all ready and realised, hmm, doh, wrong week. So, you know, when you kind of, I, and I never miss those kind of things, so it's really rare for me. But yeah, those kind of things just, yeah, make the day and the week start off on the wrong foot. And often when we have these anxious feelings, um, yeah, we can turn to either snacks or foods to help to make us feel better with the comfort foods. So I thought of that and um, I actually went for a quick walk um, down to Woolies and got a few things. But um, I've been trying to eat healthier the last week and because of that, I, my frontal lobe's working a little bit better than it usually is. So I was able to go and choose some healthier things. So I just wanted to show you, um, yeah, what some of my choices were. So they're healthier than what I could have chosen. So I've got uh, my mineral water, flavored mineral water. So not quite as healthy as plain water, but you know, it's better than uh, something sugary. And I've got my smushed balls, which I just love. So I'll have to paste myself on those, but you know, they're full of, um, berries and nuts and uh, dates. And I have got my favorite raspberries. I just love raspberries. And I have strawberries for snacking on. Uh, and I have, rather than going and getting a hot chocolate from the takeaway shop, I got my almond coconut choc smoothie, um, which again has chocolate. I'm sure it's got sugar in it, but it's not quite as bad as having uh, a chocolate milk or a hot chocolate from the shop. Anyway, so um, I guess I just wanted to challenge you to think about when you have these, you know, bad starts to the week or the day of trying to use our frontal lobe to make good choices, especially with food, because when we have good food and nutrition, then that can be much um, helpful, more helpful. Um, and then we can have some more, better choices about, you know, going for a walk or going to the gym after work. Um, so yes, it's been a big day, um, but I have my healthier snacks and I have some really f cool clients about to come in and it will be okay. We will recover. And yeah, so just think about too, when your our anxious children are reaching for the snacks that they, you know, the, the chips and the sugary drinks, let's try and encourage them to have some more healthful choices because that's going to help to um, reduce their anxiety by having better food choices too. Anyway, take care and I will see you next time. Bye.